Hey guys, Tori Ann here. From my homeschool to your homeschool, I'm coming at you with another really cool review. And today, we are going to talk about how math and mythology can kind of all line up to have a super cool time with your elementary school or elementary aged homeschool kids. All right, so the game that I want to review is so this is a math game we're going to talk about, and the game I want to review is called Zeus on the Loose. And I know. I know, it's Facebook Live, so this whole writing thing is backwards. I'm sorry about that. But it is, I just wanted to show you too, because the illustrations in this book, or in this game, are super fun. So, there you go. Woohoo! Zeus and Zeus. Anyway, super fun. Uh, tell you a little bit about this game. This game is all about helping kids figure out mental math, specifically addition, and get them moving out past, you know, the 1 to 10, or even to the 1 to 20. And really simple play rules. There's a couple different things. First of all, you get this cool little Zeus guy. Look at him! Right? So he's made out of plastic and he's kind of fun and you don't actually have to play the game with him, but look how funny he is. He's like, wah! Anyway, so you get these cards and here we are and they just look pretty plain and you start, you, st you deal out the deck and it's kind of one of those games where you play it down and if a seven goes down, or let's see, if you get a five, I can't even hold it right, there you go. You get a five, you place it down, and then the next person gets, what number is that, a two? Oh, of course I did a five and two, which are going to totally be backwards for you guys. Anyway, and you put it down, the second person lays the two down and says seven, they just start adding up. But this is where it gets interesting because you can also draw these character cards. And this is where the mythology comes in. We have an Aphrodite. We have a Hera. Um, we have an Apollo. So each of these cards has something that you can, that makes the play differently. So for example, uh, let me pick one. So here's an Aphrodite. And when you have it, it says round to the nearest multiple of 10. So now the kid, let's say you're on 43, they got to round to the nearest multiple of 10. Well, they have to know whether to round down to 40 or up to three. And then it also says steal Zeus. And there's some ways that you get to like move Zeus back and forth and who gets to do what and stuff like that. That's all it is. So you're playing and you're playing and the goal is to get to Mount Olympus. And the way you get to Mount Olympus is with a hundred. So you're adding up. So you're adding all your number cards and you're using your gameplay cards. Oh, look, here's Poseidon. And you're using these cards to move the gameplay up or down. Uh, here's subtract 10 from Mount Olympus, which would be from, you know, from the number that you're building. So the cards building up are your number. And whoever gets to 100 wins the game. Depending on how fast your kids can do the mental math kind of determines how quickly the game plays. But it never takes super long because the, these fun cards make things go pretty fast. And what I really like is you can kind of tailor the game depending on how much your kids know. So if they're struggling with their mental math, you can have them uh, write the answers down or even play with a calculator for a while if you want to kind of encourage that. Sometimes I've done that, sometimes not. You can play as soon as a kid understands these basic, basic concepts of the how do you add simple numbers. And what I love is it encourages them to learn how to do numbers like 45 plus 7, which they don't naturally get, but it starts to teach them how to get to 10 and then to get above it. Really, really fun. All right. Zeus on the loose. As always, I will include a link up above. No, will it be up above? Yeah. Link up above uh, if you want to go check this out on Amazon because uh, I think it's like, I don't know, I think it's like eight or ten dollars. Not super expensive, but it's a game we've played quite a bit. Love it. Anytime you can make math more fun in your home with games, activities, definitely, definitely encourage that. Uh, I'm Tori Ann Perky from my homeschool to your homeschool. Have a great day.